Installing a Renolit roofing on your garden shed is easy. To do this, you will need a ladder, a measuring tape, safety glasses, gloves, a driver drill, an angle grinder jigsaw, a marker, pollen call mastic, echo fix fixing accessories with screws, renolit sheets, a multi purpose ridge gap, and parts for ridge. First of all, measure the length and the width of the roof. Once the length of the roof is known, the sheets will have to be cut to this length plus 5 centimeters for the eaves overhang. Using a ruler or a line of reference and a marker, draw a line on both ends of all sheets for the cutting to length. Make sure you hold the sheet securely when cutting it with the angle grinder or the jigsaw. If the thickness of the wood supports of the garden shed is less than 4 cm, it will not be sufficient to fix the screws. It will therefore be necessary to install wooden lathes with a cross section of at least 40 by 40 mm and with a maximum distance of 70 to 80 cm. Before laying the sheets, a first hole must be drilled for each fixing point with a 10 mm diameter drill bit. Make sure that the drill is as perpendicular to the sheet as possible. The diameter of the holes must be wider than the screw itself to allow the thermal expansion of the sheets. The sheets must be fixed in a specific order. Drill a first series of first holes on all sheets approximately 10 cm from the lower edge of the sheet. The location of these holes should correspond to the center of the lathes. The holes for the other fixings must match the roof lathes. For this purpose, the distance between the lathes must be indicated on the sheets. One in three corrugation must be fixed. Therefore, a first hole corresponding to the first, fifth, ninth, and the last corrugation, the one to be overlapped, must be drilled. Prepare the fixings by inserting a suitable screw into the echo fix and ensuring that the metal washer is correctly positioned. Position the first sheet with the stamped marking side facing towards the sky so that the first holes match the lathes. While holding the sheet firmly, tighten the screw until the fixing is in place but without distorting the rubber element of the echo fix. If necessary, just loosen the screw slightly by reversing the rotation direction of the screw gun. While still holding the sheet in place, fix all the defined points in the same way except the ones on the last corrugation that will be fixed through overlapping with the next sheet. Then position the second sheet by covering the first corrugation with the Renault-lit stamped marking on the last corrugation of the one already laid. Check the alignment of the sheet with the lathes and the lower edge of the roof, then fix it. Proceed in the same way with the following sheets, which can be laid without lateral cutting. To complete the roof, it will probably be necessary to cut the last sheet in the width. To do this, measure the distance between the overhang and the corrugation trough of the last corrugation of the last sheet laid and indicate it on the sheet to be cut. Using a ruler or a line of reference and a marker, draw a line and cut the sheet to the width with the angle grinder or the jigsaw. The first holes on the last sheet will be identical to those on the previous sheets. Lay the cut sheet to complete the roof by proceeding as for the previous sheets. Complete the opposite side in the same way and then install the ridge. The overlap between two ridges is approximately 30 centimeters. Once the total required length has been measured, cut a ridge to this length. 
Before drilling on the top of the ridge, mark the fixing points at a distance of approximately 30 to 40 centimeters from each other, leaving a gap of approximately 10 centimeters between the edge of the ridge and the first first hole. Always use a 10 millimeter diameter drill bit for drilling. Prepare the fixings by inserting the longest screws into the echo fix. Then position the first ridge astride both sides and fix it by tightening the echo fix screws exactly as was done for the sheets. The last operation to complete the work will be to close both ridge ends with an end part for ridge that will be fixed with a bead of Pollen Call Mastic.